everybody Faisal Talpur here once again I uh, hope you're all keeping well okay so today we are going to talk about um, something which is um, quite often found amongst um, the business community and the non-business community I face it through the business community uh, because I consult with a lot of businesses and I, I help and advise them and guide them and both I mean you know professionals who are getting into the world of entrepreneurship and they would like to start running their business and also existing business uh, people men and women who are trying to you know uh, uh, get across uh, the difficulties that they are facing in their business right so try and overcome those difficulties so I'll tell you something which has been um, quite fascinating um, really um, and I suffered from it myself so um, I suppose um, I am uh, equally guilty of what I am going to discuss with you today um, and that is having the goal and having your aspirations um, going in one direction and and at the same time what you are trying to achieve right now that is going in the completely opposite direction um, and this is contradictory and conflicting uh, mindset so let me explain what I mean by that um, I get a lot of people I discuss with uh, uh, some of the businesses and 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 for example their their goal is I would like to make you know two million pounds this year right so I'm discussing this with a CEO for example and 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 the CEO turns around and says I'd like to make two million pounds this year um, so I'd like to have you know perhaps double the revenue that we have been we have been making over the last few years but at the same time what I would like to do is I would like to uh, do less work or I would like to employ less people right now there is a problem in this very goal and he's never going to be able to achieve that goal now making your money uh, and doubling your revenue or doubling your income does not necessarily mean that you need to work harder certainly not um, but there is a process to it there is a method to it right what you cannot ask for is you cannot ask for more right without having the right processes and implementing the right procedures and implementing the right systems in place um, that's where the contradiction and the conflicting statements start and that's what worries me because that is something that the businessman or the businesswoman will never be able to achieve right um, I'll give you another example so I was consulting with a client and uh, this client uh, recently got married had some uh, had two kids right and very young kids actually um, two are uh, fairly young so one is about two years of age and one is I think about uh, three years of age or something like that and what he was trying to achieve is that he wants to now spend more time with his uh, wife and his children right but at the same time he wants to start up a business um, and that business is going to be a property investment business sorry a property development business now property development business is a very consuming business it immer you need to immerse yourself in that business so what you're trying to achieve and what you're and the and the type of business that you're trying to get into um, a in itself it's very difficult to get into uh, and B it is all-consuming you are going to need a lot of time a lot of energy a lot of effort and money to get it off the ground which is fine I could have helped him help him with that but the reason I did not say yes and I said no thank you very much we cannot work together is because what he's trying to achieve um, and what his goals are is are completely in two different directions right so he wants more time with his family he wants more quality uh, uh, time to be spent with his children right but at the same time he is signing up for something 
which is going to keep him away from his family for at least three to five years, right? Um, another example I can perhaps give you is, especially also in the consulting environment, if um, you know the, the, the company director or the CEO or the top layer gets involved in consulting, they would like to sign up more clients, right? Um, to do more consulting, but at the same time, they would like, you know, more breaks and they would like to relax and they do not want to take on more work. Again, that's very contradictory and conflicting to what they're trying to achieve. The real issue begins, uh, and this is where the growth stops and it does not happen. So what is happening is that your mind, your business mind is asking you to do something which is to move forward and you know thrust yourself forward um, and, and achieve the goals and aspirations that you're trying to achieve. But at the same time, internally, what you want is the right opposite, okay? So you have got an internal conflict going on, okay? So your hand and your heart and your, 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 your brain uh, is not in sync, which means your subconscious is asking for something um, and your conscious mind wants something else completely. Uh, in the end, unfortunately, what happens is that the subconscious mind wins, which means I want to be more relaxed. I want to take time off. I want to spend more time with my family. I want to take it easy. I want to do all of those things, right? That is the becomes the winning proposition as compared to I want to generate more revenue, I want to generate more money, I want to grow my business, I want to expand it into different countries. Okay, so I hope this is making sense because this is, um, I suppose, slightly deep and we do not understand this, uh, you know, and we are doing this, by the way, we are doing this on a daily basis, we are making conflicting and contradictory statements to ourselves, to our loved ones, you know, in our business. And the funny thing is we are actually doing this not knowingly. So it's not that we are trying to mislead anybody. We are trying to lie to somebody. It's none of that. It's simply what we want from life, right, internally is very different to what our demands are right now, okay? Um, and that is what I call uh, an internal tug of war, okay? Um, and if you have seen sumo wrestlers do tug of war, right? Um, your guess is as good as mine, which, whichever one is going to win, okay? So, so that is why, you know, either you in business, especially or in life, you find yourself in a stagnant or a stationary position because your internal subconscious is pulling you on one side and your external demands of your life are pulling you from the other side. So what is happening is that you are either standing stationary as the best case scenario uh, and the worst case scenario is you are moving in the opposite direction of where you would like to be and what you would like to achieve, okay? Um, it's very difficult to explain stuff like this because this is subliminal subconscious stuff, but I'm hoping that um, I'm getting my point across. Now, um, but do not get me wrong. I mean, there is a process of achieving everything. So yes, you can have your cake and you can eat it as well. Uh, and there is no reason why you can't have it all, right? But to achieve what you're trying to achieve, there is a lot of underlying work that you need to put. You need to put your house in order. You need to put your infrastructure in place. You need to put the fundamentals in place. You need to get the basics right, okay? Once you have got the basics right and you have built all of that system, or if you want to call it machine, you know, the workflows, the processes, however you want to call it, once you have done all of that, which can take away a lot of work from you, right? Uh, the mundane tasks, the daily tasks, the repetitive tasks, if they can take all of that away from you, right? Um, and whether that means you are actually giving that work to somebody else, right? Could be an employee, could be a staff member, or you are 
handing over that work to technology and systems and machinery it doesn't really matter right but if you have got those processes in place that's the only way you are going to be able to then concentrate and focus on what you are ultimately trying to achieve which is perhaps time freedom and you know uh, you know more relaxed you right and you know with you having a lot more peace of mind okay um again i hope this is something which uh, you will pay attention to and pay and again like i said you know we are doing this literally on a daily basis all of us you know whether we are in business we are not in business we are making contradictory statements to ourselves to everybody um, which is why we are not always achieving the goals that we would like to achieve because our goals are pus pulling us in one direction and what we really 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 want is somewhere hidden underlying uh sorry is lying beneath somewhere and that is what is making a big impact on us which is why we are not actually being able to achieve the goals that we would like to achieve um i hope um this has added some value to you guys and um like i said i have committed myself to making one video almost every single day um, to help you people um you know uh, try and achieve whatever you would like to achieve hopefully in this year 2020 uh, for now thank you very much for listening um, i hope it has made some sense once again and uh, please um, keep on watching keep on list listening and by all means get in touch put some comment comments at the bottom if you like if you understand even if you don't understand i'll try and make it as simple as as possible one last thing if you have got any particular thing that you would like to talk to me uh, talk me you would like me to talk about uh please feel free to uh mention that in the comments as well for now thank you very much adios